We're back. Uh, Sharia law never threatened the legal system in Oklahoma, but that didn't stop some conservative state lawmakers from pushing through a constitutional amendment banning Islamic law in the courts down there. Voters overwhelmingly passed that amendment on Election Day. Now a federal judge has issued a preliminary injunction against the measure, casting doubt on its constitutionality. Democrat Ryan Kissel, or Kiesel, was a state representative in Oklahoma and has been opposed to the amendment since its inception. Ryan, would you explain why uh, busy legislators would pass some measure to prevent the state of Oklahoma from Sharia law when it really wasn't at all a threat to that state? You know, I wish I had a good explanation for you. I think that when you talk about the politics of fear, it runs both ways. I think that there's fear in the electorate, but there's also fear among elected officials uh, for voting against a measure like this, that they're going to be demonized ah. in their re-election campaign. Uh, so while uh, it overwhelmingly passed in the Oklahoma House of Representatives, I think that there are 10 no votes uh, passed in the Oklahoma State Senate where there are two no votes. Um, you know, the overwhelming majority, I don't think, or at least I hope, I've got to believe in, in my heart of hearts that they weren't out trying to target Oklahoma's Muslim community. Uh, I think that they were acting out of fear. Now, there are uh, a handful of individuals that realized that putting this on the ballot would be advantageous uh, to their re-election prospects and to their prospects in future campaigns. Well, you know, there's uh, the uh, cartoon response I have to this is it's like Henry Hill and the Music Man. You've got trouble in River City. Let's circle the wagons. We've got the evils of pool are coming and horse racing and all the other bad things. And yet the fact that people all operate as rational politicians and choose to vote, the fear factor, I think you've really gotten into something here. If a politician down in Oklahoma were to say this is really irresponsible, there is no threat from Sharia law being accepted by any of the courts, it's not going to be recognized, we're not going to let husbands beat up their wives or anything like that, or have sex with them against their sure. uh, consent, it's never going to happen in this country, it's never happened, we don't recognize foreign law. Uh, if you don't vote that way, then you are subject. Do you believe a member of the legislature in Oklahoma could possibly lose their seat if they had voted no against what they thought was a frivolous uh, resolution? You know, it, it's, uh, you know, as well as I do, it's, it's impossible to pin down uh, in most campaigns why a particular member lost. Uh, but I would say that there were probably campaigns that were either closer or members that lost, uh, and this was part of the negative campaign against them. I know statewide elected officials and I know members of the legislature that uh, either opposed this or voted against it saw this as an issue in their campaign. What's Oklahoma like in this regard? Does it have a particular, without knocking your state, the Sooner state, sure. is there something about the culture, very evangelical, very traditional, of, is it worried? Is it a particularly worried state about cultural change? Yeah, you know, this. I think that a lot of folks, uh, especially around the nation, uh, from the outside looking into Oklahoma, see that 70 percent of Oklahomans voted for this, and they draw conclusions about Oklahomans. Uh, I would encourage them not to do that. I don't think that the overwhelming majority of that 70 percent that went to the ballot box on Election Day and voted for this state question went into the ballot box thinking, I want to target and discriminate against Oklahoma's Muslim community. I think that they went in and saw that state question, which was among 11 other state questions, many of which were extraordinarily frivolous uh, yeah. and were politically motivated, and saw that state question and thought, well, our elected officials wouldn't have put this on there if there weren't some danger, if there weren't some peril that we were trying to That's prevent. what I would think if I were um, a regular voter. How would how'd you vote, by the way, Ryan? Well, I voted against the state question and, and voted against even sending it to the ballot. Uh, it wasn't you know, a I problem. Probably, if I were uh, the average casual voter, I think I'd see that and say, of course I don't want Sharia law recognized in the state. I'd say there must have been some reason why it's on the ballot. There are thoughtful people that put it there. And I don't believe that having Islamic law, any law, Christian law, anything else, get involved with actual absolutely. the constitution of our country, which is sacred to me. And a lot of people which, believe this you know, is divinely and, and, inspired, and, and, in fact, not to mess with it. But, you know, it's great to have you on. Thank you, Ryan Kissel. Thanks for joining thanks, us tonight. I, and I hope we don't have more you, of these stories, but I'm afraid we will.